Hey up you beautiful buggers, how the devil are we all doing? It's Three Nasty Geese and in this video we're making this, a vault tech container motel house thing. I don't know. First things first, we need a walkation, don't we? And I'm just here near New Garden, there's no particular reason for it other than the ground's pretty flat and it's near a road, belting. Now for this build we're not putting down any foundations just yet, we need to put down two containers. I've already put one down and I just need to slap down another which is at the same height and slap bang right next to the one we've already got down here. Simply, simply one. Now while we're fannying around trying to get this straight, I want to explain what this build is, you know. It's supposed to be an old vault tech employee's housing thing made out of containers because they're cheap and cheerful. However, since the bombs have dropped, a group of people have got hold of it called the Wastelands Association of Tenants society or twats for short they're quite a noble organization that offers cheap housing and lodgings for your average everyday wasteland wanderer anyhow while i've been telling you the backstory of this it should have given you more than enough time to get your containers nice and tight together and sitting lovely and straight beautiful the next step of our building adventure is to get some doorways on these containers we don't want them open to elements do we now this is quite easy to do but it does take a little bit of fiddling and lining up foundations we're going to roughly place down a foundation foundation just in front of our entrance to containers. We're then going to take our foundation and line it up so a doorway will sit nicely in the entrance to our container. Beautiful. Once you think you've got it right place, slap down a doorway and check it and make any adjustments if you need to. As you can see, my doorway is a little bit too high, so I'm just going to remove it and lower the foundation down so it sits in, you know, a little bit nicer and doesn't stick out at top. Once you're happy with it, snap another foundation to one you've already got down and then remove the first one. You can then move your new foundation forward a little bit snap another one to it and that will allow you to put a doorway inside the container beautiful now as you can see guys my wall is still sticking up out at top of container because i'm a dick so i'm just going to remove everything try it again until we get it sitting how we want it to once you're happy with it it's time to put a doorway on the other container to do this we're just going to do exactly the same thing but we're going to use these existing foundations to make our life a little bit easier we know this one's at the right distance away from container we know it's at the right height so all we need to do is snap down a foundation to it and move it around so it lines up with the entrance to our container. Once you've got it all sorted, this is what you should be left with. Simply, simply lovely. Next up, we need to put down our second floor it, floor it, store it, containers slash rooms, whatever they're called. Just do me a favour and ignore that mild stroke I've just had. Anyway, there's nothing really complicated to this. Grab a yellow container and slap it down on top of the blue one. It's that simple. We are going to have these sitting further back though, so what you need to do is on the bottom container just build a wall up here off that foundation and on top of that place down another wall this is going to act as a marker to see where the doorways are going to sit on our top containers does that make any sense of course it bloody does poor pronunciation and brutal accent aside though use that new wall to line up where you want your container to go once you're happy with the rough location lock it down in place and of course remember to squint up your face quench your fist and launch spit at your screen when you do this it's all part of the build process now you've got your container in place, it's time to put in a wall, you know, like we've just discussed. And we're going to do the same on this side as we did on the other. We're going to stick a wall down on our bottom container foundations and then stick another one on top of that wall. But oh no, it's not going to let us do it. I wonder why. Well, it's simply because we've not burnt the shit out of that container at the top. So the wall's clipping into it, it's not going to let us place it. So we're going to do the right thing and do the aforementioned burning the shit out of the container. Mm-hmm. Yep, simply, simply lovely. And once that container's destroyed, you should be able to snap a wall in. There you are, you see? Doesn't look too bad, does it? Kind of matches up with bottom ones. All we've got to do now is repeat the process for the other container, and you should be left with something like this. For the next step, we're going to be slapping down some gantry stairs at the side of our build, and it's dead simple to do. Snap some foundations from this one and go around the side of the build. Dead easy. While you're here, you can also check that these walls and your containers are facing wallpaper side outwards because that's what we want and that's what we need to do and once you're happy with it we can delete all these foundations at the front and put down some gantry stairs on the side here absolutely fantastic next up we need to put some doors in on our second story you'd think this would be easy but in this game nothing's easy 
Now, the reason they don't snap in is not because it's clipping through anything, it's because there's no floor underneath them. I know it's daft, but we just have to work with what we've got. The way we're going to get around this is by building some floors out from our gantry stairs here and building them up towards that wall. Now, yes, I did just say that the problem with the doorways isn't due to clipping, but I've downright lied to you. You are going to have to destroy the container with a flamethrower and then you should be able to put your door in. For the other side, just repeat the process. Throw down some foundations, throw in some gantry stairs, build your floors out, destroy your container and smash your door in. Absolutely fantastic. Let's start adding some colour to this bugger. On the bottom containers, I'm going to put down yellow wallpaper and on the top containers, you guessed it, I'm going to put down blue wallpaper contrasting. For the doors, we're using something a little bit different. I'm using the vault tech vault doors, that sounded so wrong to say, but I'm going to flip them around so it gives this kind of effect. Now, yes, on the inside, it's probably going to look like dog shit, but from the outside, I, I reckon that looks all right. Don't know about you what. We've now reached a portion of the video that I like to call non-fictional story time with TNG. Back in the early days of 76, you didn't have access to these railings. The only things we had were wooden defensive walls, and they were broken. This still are. So if we wanted fancy railings, we had to make our own using these buggers. Yep, conduits. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to start by putting down a stash box, can be anyone you like, depending on what height you want your railings, and we're going to slap down a conduit on top of it. And we're going to try and make it as straight as we possibly can. Now, it's never going to be perfect unless you're extremely lucky, but we're not going to worry about it. We're going to do the right thing and just totally ignore it if it's off on the piss. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Once your conduit is somewhat lined up, just snap another one to it. That'll allow you to delete your stash box and the first conduit we put down, but leave that one little floating piece in place. Beautiful. From this little floaty bit we've got left, we can start building our railings up, and I'm just going to follow it around the perimeter of our containers. Dead simple to do, there's multiple sizes of conduits, and you'll get there eventually, don't worry. Once you've got them all down, this will be your end result, but we need to go around the stairs as well, don't we? Now, to do this, you're just going to repeat the process you've been using for the last 47 minutes, but what you'll find is it may be a little bit difficult to place the conduits. Why is this, you may ask? It's been easy everywhere else. Well, it's because of the stairs. Don't ask me why. These stairs just have weird fucking physics. So to remedy this, we're just going to delete them. Then we're going to put more conduits down. We can plonk them back in and check that we're getting the conduits in the right, you know, direction. But yeah, just be aware the stairs can cock up putting these down. Like I said, I have no fucking clue why. Before we do our second run of railings, yep, there's going to be a second run. I'm just randomly going to throw down a container here. I've used a closed one, but I'd advise using an open one. This is going to be the office for booking into the motel. Beautiful. So let's get back to these railings. These are dead simple for the second run. For some reason, a conduit will float here, so just place that down and follow exactly what you did with the top run. Again, guys, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass getting them all straight, but like I say, who's, who's really going to look at it in that much depth? There probably will be somebody out there who does pull out an imaginary ruler, but that's absolutely fine. We'll just ignore that one person. Again, guys, with this run, make sure that you pull your stairs out, get them wind up, put the stairs back in, check them for reference. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Of course you do. Well, I hope you do anyway, because I'll be 100% honest with you, there's some times where I don't have a clue what I'm saying either. Once all your conduit railing fence things are in place, this is what you'll be left with. And it's quite time consuming, I know, but it does give a nice effect, doesn't it? Now we can start decorating the bugger. I'm not going to do every single one of these containers because I'm lazy as shit, but I'll throw a few things down in here to give you some idea. I'll show you a finished result at the end like I always do. But yeah, with this being a vault tech theme build, we're going to be using vault tech theme furniture. You know, the kind of crap you'd find in a vault. Fortunately, there is quite a lot of this in the game. A lot of it's non-atomic shop as well. I'm going to be using the scruffy variant of stuff because it's an old building that's been in a wasteland. But if you want to use clean stuff, there is quite an abundance of that as well. So yeah, perfect. For the whites on the outside, I'm pretty torn to be honest with you. I do like these yellow overhangy boy 3000s here. They fit in with the build nicely because the yellow. But then again, I do like these vault lights as well with a residential written on them. I'm quite torn on what to put down here. We'll find out what I've done in the decoration part at video because I can't bloody remember. In our little booking in office container thing here, I'm just going to make a simple counter using bookshelves. If anybody else has done this in a video, I apologise for copying your content. I wouldn't usually apologise, but for some reason, counters are a point of contention in this game. So yeah, better safe than sorry. We can also throw down some of the same 
same furniture as what we use in our rooms as well. Mm hmm Yep, simply, simply lovely. And once we get some more shit down, I'm sure it's going to come together. On that point, I'll cut away now and I'll show you some footage of what I've done to it to decorate it. Back in a sec. There you are, you see. What do you reckon of that? Very, very simple, but I don't really want to overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course you do. As ever, I'd like to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons. The extra support is much appreciated. And yeah, if that's something you'd be interested in, take a look at the link down in the description and it'll show you some of the perks that you get. And whilst you're snooping around in the description, why not click on the Discord link? I mean, it, it's free and it'll take you to my Discord, as the name suggests. I don't know, just bloody have a look at it. And of course, guys, if you like the video, hit that like button and let me know I'm doing an half decent job and if you want to see more weekly Fallout 76 content maybe hit that subscribe button too anyhow as we say it north I'll love you and leave you and I'll catch you at next one have fun everyone <laughs>